Hey guys, and welcome back to another round of Vort Robots with Stupendous. <laughs> oh, I'm weird. <laughs> oh, hey, look, Juan's in here. <laughs> so, not squatting with him, but uh, yeah, Juan is, uh, he's from my clan. He's like a super awesome player. So, <laughs> just, just a reminder, um, I never said I was the best player in the world. <laughs> um... I, someone someone made a comment the other day like, oh, you think you're awesome and stuff, but, you know, there's so many players out there that would wreck you. And I'm like, heck yeah, there are. They do it every day. <laughs> um, I mean, ever since I started the channel, I've, I've definitely made it clear. I, I feel like that I'm not the best player out there. I'm just, I'm just good at explaining things. So that, that's why I do what I do. Um, but anyways, yeah, Juan is like one of those players that would wreck my face. I'm so glad I'm in the same clan as him. <laughs> Um, but yeah, like pretty much everyone in my clan, I feel like is better than me. <laughs> um, and yeah, so I, I feel, I feel blessed to, you know, to even be part of the clan and stuff because I, I learn a lot from playing with these guys. Like I don't get to play with them too much because like no one is on when I'm on like ever. But, uh, yeah, it was cool that I randomly was able to drop in with Juan. Um, anyways, yeah. So running a bunch of, uh, subscriber requests again, someone asked for the Tarans on the rock, on the Regatka, um, again, actually a couple people did. Um, and since it's a re-request and I just did one, I'm not gonna like do the names and stuff for it. I and mean, there was a couple people too who wanted it. Um, and then, oh, let's see, who was it that wanted? Oh, you know what? <laughs> yeah, Mike, you wanted the Jesse, uh, but you wanted it with an aphid and a pinata on um, on each set of arms. So is that what I understood right? Like, so like you've got an aphid and a pinata, and then you switch, and then you've got another aphid and another pinata. So, <laughs> I decide. I'll, I don't know. I guess I'll still do it, but um, right now I just have it in with um, straight aphids, and I don't know that I'm going. <laughs> well, no, I'll, I'll do it for you, man. I'll, I'll do it for you. It's just having the having the pinata and the aphid on there. Like it doesn't make tons of sense because um, you know having the aphids paired up that makes sense because you're able to um, you're able to rock both of them at the same time. Um, and have you have the same advantage and disadvantage like per weapon? Oh yes. Um, so, but like with the pinata on there, you need line of sight and you need to be within 300 meters. So that like pretty much negates the benefit of using um, using an aphid, which allows you to fire without direct line of sight and from 350 meters. So, um, if you're going to be running pinatas and aphids on there. Um, that's my, besides having just aphids, that's my favorite setup, um, for the Jesse is having, um, having a pinata on the back set and aphids on the front set. So, um, but yeah, so let's, let's actually go over here and see if we can grab this. So, when, so someone requested that I dust off Natasha and they didn't care what, uh, what I ran on it. And then I think it was Abdeeb. I, I, I need to start having my list like right in front of me. I have a list on my home screen on my phone like with people's names and stuff. Um, but anyways, I think it was you, man, who requested that I do some sniping stuff. So since I had a Natasha and a sniping thing, I was like, well, let's snipe with Natasha. <laughs> and so when uh, when I'm sniping, I'm more of a backpacker than a camper, <laughs> if that makes sense. Um, so I'm like, don't just stand in one spot. Like you can find different spots on the map with different sight lines. And the other benefit to doing that is that people are going to compensate for you standing in the same spot. So they'll, like, whenever they respawn or, or anything like that, they're going to constantly um, be watching for you. Oh, yeah. What's up, man? They're going to constantly be watching for you in the same spot. But if you're always moving, they're, they're going to have to constantly be aware of you, which means they're not spending their full attention, paying attention to your teammates, if that makes sense. So, um I went ahead and just advanced on that guy just because uh, <laughs> he was going down anyways, and I, I actually want to move over here to my right next to the bridge. So let's give it a second, see if we can get above that. There we go. So I'm running the uh, my favorite setup for for sniping is uh, is actually this setup right here. Um, my my geckos are only level six, my nashorns are only level eight and nine. It just takes so much silver to level up heavy weapons. I haven't been able to uh, to really get into it too much. So the perfect scenario, like when you've got uh, Trident Fury like this, like that's the kind of guy that you want to really focus when you're when you're running this. And the reason I like having the geckos on there is when you've got two of them on there, um, you know they do pretty similar damage to what the what the Nashorns are doing. 
Um, but you're able, like, you, you have constant uh, constant pressure, which I've talked to you guys about before. And um, actually, you know what? Lloyd actually talks about it in his videos, too. So if you guys haven't checked out Lloyd Lamar, make sure you go um, and search in YouTube, Lloyd Lamar uh, War Robots. So um, the constant pressure, it's got a pretty strong psychological effect to it. Like, people don't want to stand there with the laser on them. Just the same that they don't want to stand in bullet spray um, or anything like that. Like, they'll, they'll move, you know? And so, like, that guy right there, he's he's moving out of the way. And I'm moving into his firing range right now, but I'm just going to try to keep these pillars behind him. Um, <clears throat> so, and yeah, see, look at Juan is, is now going in and engaging him. So that guy, he started to focus on me instead of focusing on anyone else. And he totally overexposed himself. And so Juan was able to completely wreck him, you know. <laughs> Um, and luckily Juan was, you know, being aware of the battlefield. Well, not luckily. That's just how, that's how Juan do. Juan's an awesome player, like I said. So he was keeping an eye out for that kind of stuff. But yeah, so, um, that Fury, we drew him all the way over to that side of the battlefield. And then Juan came in and took him out, which was wonderful. Um, we had three teammates there in the center, all within firing range of that guy. So, you know, I didn't have to be the only guy. Um, and that's the other, so this is the other thing with, with sniping. Um, actually, let me finish my, my previous thought. Um, so yeah, I didn't have to be the only guy like firing on that guy. I had, I drew him over to where, you know, my, my team was. So <clears throat> anyway, so yeah, switching targets is what I was about to talk about. Um, especially when you've got, uh, geckos in the Nash horn on, because you can fire like very, very frequently, you always need to be looking for a new target. So pretty much whenever you have a shot, you take the shot when you're running, um, like Kang days or trebuchets or whatever, those are strategic shots. You save those, um, you, you, well, frequently you save those. Sometimes you just take a shot when you can, but uh, more often than not, you save those shots for a strategic shot that's really gonna you know, cripple somebody or take somebody out. Um, so right now what I'm doing is I'm pushing over to their side beacon to draw some of them this way. Um, so this is part of the backpacking concept that I talked about. So for those of you who don't know what backpacking is, it's like camping except you bring all of your stuff with you on your back and you hike in. So it's like hiking with all of your camping gear and then you just camp wherever you want to. Um, <laughs> so that's why I call it backpacking. Um, and I don't know, it's not always the way to snipe, especially if you if you don't have uh, these low cooldown things. It's not always the way to snipe, but um, for me, <clears throat> it works with my attention span really well. Um, just having the nine second cooldowns on the Nash horns and then um, having you know a constant reload on the geckos it works really well so that's my that's my preferred sniping setup uh, the butch is obviously a really good sniper but again it takes like like 30 billion silver to level up uh, four heavy weapons and I have it I think yeah these the Nashorn and the um, yeah the Nashorns that I have they're the highest leveled um, sniping weapons that I have um, I just bought a trebuchet and I think I just got it to level nine but that's only one and I actually don't prefer the trebuchets because of the long reload. I'd rather have, um, rather than having that like high damage and stuff like that, I'd rather have guaranteed full 100% damage after 15 seconds like the Kang Days. So if I was going to go for a strategic shot weapon, I'd go for that. Plus with the Kang Days, you can't uh, tell position super well. Um, with, uh, with the trebuchets, you're lit up like a Christmas tree. So people could see it. Did you see that guy? He's getting nailed from both directions. Oh, he didn't get taken out. <laughs> Oh well, we'll focus this guy over here. And there we be. All right, so doing decent damage into that guy there. Um, so yeah, the the Jesse, I'll <laughs> so Mike, I'll, <laughs> I'll I'll try the pinata setup, but I, you know, let me know what you think of that explanation if that makes sense. If it doesn't make sense, just drop a comment and we can talk about it some more. Um, but yeah, as far as like mixing those, like if you're going to be running two of each, like they may as well be paired up together. Um, if that make if that makes sense, but yeah, if it doesn't make sense, just uh, yeah, drop a comment, let me know. I'm happy to explain that again. Um, and if you if you really want me to, I'll run it. And then all you people that keep asking for zeniths <laughs> on a butch, why? <laughs> oh, zeniths are so dumb. All right, let's get this rhino really quick. Should be able to take him out right there. All right, I'm not sure this Fujin sees me, so hopefully we can hit him as he drops. Yeah, got a little bit of... Oh, sorry about that. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> for those of you who didn't know, my name is Jared. <laughs> um, for the super peeps out there, I mean, I have answered that in a couple of Q&As and stuff. But yeah, board of directors meeting I was supposed to be at, but I quit that board of directors. So. <laughs> 
Oh wow. Anyways, yeah. So pretty solid damage there, and most of that was from that Natasha. So you know, keep your keep your head on a swivel, keep firing when you can. Um, and yeah, any more uh, requests you have, I do have a long list going right now, but keep dropping them. The ones that get requested most frequently are the ones that'll be more likely to do uh, sooner. So. Uh, anyways, thank you guys so much for coming to checking it out. Uh, hope you guys have an amazing day.